you doing guys uh, we're going to revisit a uh, old topic um, more in depth in this case and uh, this had to do with the uh, Final Cut Pro 10 versus the DaVinci Resolve as far as speed performance testing which I kind of did say the, uh, the Final Cut Pro X was faster but before I get in to those test results um, let me uh, talk about a comment made by one of my viewers or yeah, viewers, this is from uh, Venzius Garcia, uh, which he says, Resolve Studio support more than two GPUs at the same time. The free version only supports one GPU. And I think the Resolve Windows version is more optimized rather than the Mac version. So I'm going to cover this in two parts. The first one is um, GPU support versus the free uh, paid and uh, Windows and Mac versions. And also... Uh, Mac and Windows optimizations, uh, difference between the two. Um, now, I'm guessing the reason why he kind of mentioned that was that um, I think he thought that the um, uh, DaVinci Resolve doesn't support multiple GPUs on the free version, in which most cases it, it doesn't. But there is an exception to the uh, 2013 Mac Pro, and it does in fact support multiple GPUs, in this case uh, two D700s, or it could be five or even 300s. And uh, this is the supporting documentation uh, for DaVinci Resolve 14. As you can see at the very top, the Mac Pro, This uh, they're talking about the uh, 2013 version. Uh, the Mac Pro, includes a dual AMD GPUs and uh, both of these are used by image processing even for the free version of DaVinci Resolve. And, uh, and that can be found in multiple user manuals and even during the install you'll see that mentioned. And also with testing, this is on DaVinci Resolve public beta where I exported it uh, and rendered it out. And uh, just to show you, um, this is on the 2013 uh, Mac Pro using iStat menus. And if you look at the D700 graphic cards, um, there's two of them. And it shows both processors or GPUs being used, which also confirms uh, what I've been saying before. Now, keep in mind... Um, I also did an, uh, I mentioned this in one of the update videos. Another one was I'm kind of uh, the Final Cut Pro 10 and versus DaVinci Resolve. I'm going to really call it a draw, even though, or pretty much evenly matched, because there's a couple of things that I didn't realize um, before I made the video that the uh, that version that I use actually supports metal. Um, now metal of course is allows for direct access from the application to the GPU making uh, performance much more faster. I'm not sure if I even use that and um, some of the background rendering is very kind of cryptic uh, described in DaVinci Resolve um, so I'm not 100% sure how it does its background rendering and some of the effects and playback and all that. So that's the reason I'm going to be calling it a draw. Um, not necessarily both are uh, faster than the other, but they're pretty evenly matched depending on your different variables. It's really hard to test performance between two applications anyway and make it evenly match. It's, it's kind of hard to do that. Okay. Part two, uh, the performance between Mac and Windows as far as DaVinci Resolve. Um, I think it depends how you're comparing it because if you're comparing the free version on the 2013 Mac Pro uh, free version on the Windows version, uh, I actually think the Mac version is more optimized. Now this is a rare exception because it does utilize more than one GPU. It uses both dual GPUs. Like I said, uh, now if you start comparing uh, on other Mac Pros or even um, Studio version and things like that, I do agree. I tend to believe the Windows version will probably be more optimized. Um, 
And the way I believe in software optimization is depends on what platform it's developed first and for how long. Um, so if it was first developed on Windows and many years later, uh, it comes to another platform. I believe the original platform is simply going to be more optimized because it's been on there longer uh, to fix bugs, improve uh, improve performance, and so on. And we can say uh, uh, see this also with uh, Windows games that have come on the Mac platform or ported over tend to be slower compared to the Windows version uh, simply because uh, it's going from DirectX to OpenGL and other issues. So, um, plus, not, it's not always going to be more optimized than Windows platform because Apple controls both, both the operating system and the hardware, which tend to be much more optimized uh, than on a Windows platform, simply because Windows has to support hundreds of different hardware configurations. So, if that software application supports all the features on that um, Mac uh, computer, I'm going to tend to believe that uh, Mac is going to be more optimized. Now, not necessarily for DaVinci Resolve or most applications, but just keep that in mind. So give me your thoughts on, uh, on that uh, uh, Mac and uh, Windows optimizations and also DaVinci Resolve and Final Cut Pro 10. I just want to do an update video uh, for more in-depth response to this debate. So uh, thank you for watching and see you guys later. And thanks for watching.